Now, before I start, I just must say to you, you're very lucky to be here today. Those of you that know I'm an authorised financial advisor, and I've chosen today to unlock some of the secrets to wealth and prosperity. And I'm going to share some of these facts with you, and it may change the whole future for your family, loved ones and friends. So give generously, generously for this information, because these are the keys or the tools to wealth. Before I start, I'd just like to draw attention to history. Are there any history teachers amongst us? No, but I know there's some learned people from um, headmistresses, etc., that would know that the um, history departments say that to understand the future, we must understand the past. So we're going to have a little bit of a look at 10 years of history. Okay, before I start, I must highlight that I've got a uh, disclosure statement if anybody thinks this is personal financial advice. <laughs> legal requirement. Listen very carefully now. Donate generously. We're going to treat this session as a bit of a data dump or information and a quiz. And then you'll be able to over over overhaul your strategy. So, can you pick a trend? What's next year's winner? Get the money out. Come on, come on. Put it in the bowl. Come on. <laughs> Don't wait until the secrets come out and then say, oh, no, I'll take those for nothing. Put it in the bowl. We want to know what that is. Let's have question one. Has New Zealand government bonds ever been the top earner in the last 10 years? Got a yes over here? No. Nope. A no over there? Maybe. Okay, the answer was yes. Those tables that said no. Top earner in 2011. How much did government bonds offer there? 13.3%. Not bad from a fixed interest government bond, is it? Have government bonds ever been the worst performer? Yes? Yes, in 2005. How much in that year? 7%. And they were the worst performer. Okay, what's the lowest return in 10 years for New Zealand government bonds? Let's have a figure. 7% here? Four? Three. Three? Not good enough. All pay. Everybody pay. The lowest was just 1.7. So there you go. 1.7 but it wasn't bottom. Something else was... <laughs> Have New Zealand shares ever been the top in the last 10 years? A yes over here? A no over there? That no table? You're on rum. You don't have to pay, the rest have to pay. The closest was second in 2012 with 25.9%. That's last year. 25.9% from the New Zealand share market and it still wasn't the best. Okay, were New Zealand shares ever the bottom in the 10-year period? Come on, this is New Zealand we're talking about. We all know the share market's on the news every day at lunchtime. It's on the news at night. That yeses or noes? No. Yes. no. They were never bottom. But they did have a year of minus 31.6 and they still didn't come bottom. So, that was 2008, global financial crisis. Have international equities ever topped the charts in the last 10 year period? This is international equities. Have they ever topped the charts in the last 10 years? Lots of yeses. No! Come on, put money in there. You've been making the wrong investment decisions in the last wee while. I told you, this is the key to future prosperity. The best they got was second. 29.7%. Not a bad second. You know, I'd take it, but it's second. So, have international equities ever been the bottom in the last 10 years? Lots of yeses. No! You really need a lot of help, you guys. Okay, not even in the height of the global financial crisis did they come bottom. But they did perform badly with minus 35.6. So, where do we go next? What about emerging markets? Have they ever been top in the last 10 years, emerging markets? Yes. Lots of yeses. Yes, three times. 2005, 42.1. 2007, 
and 2009, 43.3. They aren't too bad to add into your portfolio, are they? A few years of that. Emerging markets. Question nine. Have emerging markets ever been bottom in the last 10 years? No. No? Yes. <laughs> the no better pay up? Yes. In 2011, down 18. Okay, we're getting near the end. So has cash ever been the best in the last 10 year period? Cash? No. Residual no? You're correct. You know about cash. It's not very good, is it? Best year was fourth. 8.8% .8 in 2008. Was it ever the worst? Cash. You're starting to feel nervous about answering now, aren't you? You, you really don't know your numbers. Yes. At 3% in 2010. So here's one. Have you got any idea which asset class came top five years out of the last ten? Any idea? Come on. New Zealand shares. No, we've had New Zealand shares. It wasn't top five times out of the last ten. Property. What sort of property? Commercial. Where, where, where from? Residential property. Don't go to that man for advice. <laughs> okay, it was global listed property hedge, and it was top five years out of ten. 41, 38, 41, 22, 26. Have you got a bit of global, global hedged property internationally in your portfolio? The next question is, was it ever worse in the 10-year period? Come on, let's hear it. Yes. Have a view. Yes. yes, it was worse twice, 13 and 43. Now, what I'm going to do now is give you a quick glimpse of all these results colour-coded. So those of you with a good, you know... Photographic memory, take a zip of this and you're going to unlock the key to future prosperity. But before I do that, any money on the table that isn't in the jar already, put it in before this last secret. Come on. Remember, give it away and it comes right back. There you go. <laughs> so, I talked about history teachers. Don't listen to them for financial advice. Past experience is no guide to future return. And if you're having a little bit of trouble locking into those secrets yourself, see an authorised financial advisor. <laughs>